Good morning, everybody. You're looking at the tip of an iceberg, metaphorically speaking. When you watch Breakfast Time, you only meet a tiny part of the team who are responsible for getting the programme on the air. Behind the scenes, there are cameramen, there are people responsible for the lighting, the set, the video, tapes, the makeup. It's a massive technical operation. And at its centre, high above the studio floor in the gallery, all the technical facilities are coordinated by one person, the director. He or she is really in the driving seat, under just as much pressure and giving just as much of a performance as any of the presenters. Except that to you, the viewing public, a director's successes uh, should be undetectable, but their failures are only too obvious. So don't forget, after this uh, paper's review, it's the Green Goddess, Diana Moran, with her music, Camera 3, I'll release you shortly. This is studio director Stuart MacDonald. He has the calm confidence of a man playing poker with a stacked deck of cards, and he speaks jargon fluently. Animate. Freeze Derek Nimmo. Animate the vegetables. And don't be a vegetable. Try eating one instead. Stuart, I'm looking at a really baffling array of television sets. What on earth do they all do? Well, it's not that baffling, really, Guy. First of all, the one top centre is um, the one right in front of you. That's the transmission monitor. Very important in many ways but from a directing point of view, not quite as important as all the preview monitors. The little black and white ones down the bottom. Absolutely, yeah. because as a director, you're always interested in the next picture. We've got the four studio cameras across there. I think you can uh, see them. And at the far end, you can see we have our breakfast time logo coming from GR1, which is our graphics area one. Um, on my right, we've got uh, Jim, who's the vision mixer. Jim here would uh, put all the shots um, onto the transmission monitor for you. And the model way of doing it is this. We're on graphics at the moment, so you would say, coming to camera one next and one. Jim would change it. And he does it, like that. Simple so if as I wanted that. to go, coming to camera two next and two, with, with the hand movement to, to help us on our way. Absolutely. And everything will run smoothly like that. Yes, that's all there is to it, guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I'm good at the hand movements. Whether it'll all come up on the, on the day, I don't know. Midnight and preparations for the morning's programme are already well underway in the production office. Time for the director to find out what he's going to direct, as the night editor, Howard Anderson, runs through the breakfast menu. We kick off at 6.30, Selena to open the programme, Frank Boff to do the teasers and all the various bits and bobs in the middle. Sounds like another fun-packed all-action edition of the programme, but if I'm to get those items on the air in just over six hours' time, I'd better get to know some of the weird and wonderful machines that'll help me do it. Many of the items on breakfast time, including this one, are pre-recorded on videotape, known as VT, and running the right tape at the right time is an important part of the director's job. Right, so I say stand by VT titles, right, and then five seconds before we need the picture, I go, run VT titles. And uh, the bloke says, and now breakfast time, and up it comes. That's it. And if it works as simply as that, we're all in clover. I'm sure it'll work fine. <laughs> Counting to honour, 15, 14, 13, 12, How time flies 11, when you're gripped by 10, bewilderment and panic. 9, it's 8, 6.30 already, 7, and it's showtime. Five, Run VT titles. Four, three, two, one, zero. Can we have quiet? Shh. Sorry. Counting out of VT. Ten, nine, one eight, next. seven, six, five, and one, four, three, and four, one. Cue Selena. Good morning. It's Thursday, the 12th of January, and welcome to breakfast time. One next. It's a rather gloomy morning in many ways. With 30 the minutes of television for me to direct, second. all I have to do is position the cameras, workers. choose the shots, make sure a camera is always pointing at the person who's speaking, tell the presenters which camera to speak to and when, who speaks to who and in what order, tell the videotape machines when to start, work out what comes next, and contend with the constantly changing demands of the editor. All the script is now gone. The majority of page 160, and David Wheel will pick up Picture yourself as a one-eyed unicyclist riding backwards on a tightrope over Niagara Falls while playing the spoons. Now you know how I feel. A majority of the page 160 has gone, minute, ladies and gentlemen. Frank, one minute. David, will you be picking up on three? You're looking at a worried man, but despite my furrowed brow, so far things were going quite well. But I still had the opt-out to come. 
That's when all the BBC regions have two and a half minutes of their own local news. Making sure they all have the same two and a half minutes coming together at exactly the same split second is pretty tricky, though. And Quantel, Q Music, Print Riot. 15 seconds to opt out. Counting to opt out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Opt out, opt out. 2, Q Jeff. Good morning. Now, have a look at the main stories from the Riley. southeast. Rum BT. One, five, four. Leading three, south. It can't BT. be seven o'clock already, but it was, and time to hand over to a proper director. It was only when I stopped concentrating that I realised how much I'd been enjoying myself. I had at least made it without making a prized twit of myself. But I'm celebrating not having made a, a massive cock-up of it with black coffee, but that is definitely the most difficult thing I've done on this series of films. Stuart, it's, it's, how did it go? It went very well. It's nice of you to say it was the most difficult thing, but you did without... too well for my liking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three That's next it. and three. Uh, it's me now, for real. Uh, do you know, I actually did think we managed to stop him talking there just for a little bit. And all those characters you met, we've now put them back in the box up here where they actually belong. It's now uh, 15, 17 minutes past 8 o'clock. In the next 15 minutes, oh, crumbs! Just how much fish is there in our favourite fish fingers? <laughs>